one. Now we will talk about some opcodes used to read tables. A table is an array of some given size. A table could be a calculated function or a sampled audio wave. Here, we will use sign functions. 2. The print op code is used to print I time variables, such as P fields, from the score I lines. 3. The phaser op code creates a linear changing line which repeats at some frequency. The slope of the line is determined by the given frequency in the parameter list. A phaser op code has two arguments, and only one is necessary. Usually the phase argument is left out, so the line starts at zero. The X for the audio format means it can accept I time, K rate, or array variables. The KCPS terms means the frequency can be either K rate or I time. 4. This is an instrument string. First, the three P values are printed, and a phaser of 1 Hz is created for the audio channels. 5. The table opcode can be used to read a table. The first parameter is the index, which can either be a raw value or a normalized value. In the example, we use the normalized version, so the mode is 1. The index goes from 0 to 1, as in the phaser function. 6. This is an instrument multi-line string, where we have a phaser acting as an index term for the two audio rate variables. These two audio rate variables look up table 1 and table 2. 7. One of the most often used opcodes is oscill. The function of oscill is to combine the functions of the phaser and table opcodes. In addition, there is an amplitude term. 8. This is the instrument string using the oscill opcode we don't have to create new iTime variables, as we did here. We could just as easily enter constants directly in the oscillop code. Like here, you might use them for clarity. 9. Notice, the instrument function has changed. It now has three parameters, with the first parameter being a comment string. 10. Next, we have two calls to the table function. This will create the two tables that will be used. The table functions uses the GEN10 routine which is a sum of signs at different harmonics. They were covered in tutorial 6. The first table is a single sine wave, and the second table is different harmonics composing a square wave. 11. This is the table function. There is a documentation string indicating it creates F lines in A's core section. We use F lines to create different tables. The function is very similar to the I line, except now a table is generated. 12. After importing the module, we don't have to remember the ordering of parameters, since writing table and starting the parenthesis in IPython gives the format and doc string. 13. The score has examples for the three instruments. Now we have an extra function, rem, to insert a comment in the CSD file. 14. The text output, as captured by the Anaconda command prompt, shows the output due to the print statements. 15. Finally, running the CSD file results in this WAV file. 16. You will find additional information at pythonaudio.blogspot.com, including the source code.